A lot of people have the sense, and some theologians will teach this, that God is up there deciding who's going to suffer. It's like he's got a, a whole collection of pins and he just sticks, oh, I think I'll stick it in this person, this person. I've looked at every passage in the Bible related to suffering, and frankly, there are some, some questions. I, don't, I have no idea what the answer is. Uh, why did a tornado hit this town in Alabama and not that town? Why did, uh, uh, why did this person die of illness and not the next door neighbor? Why did the earthquake hit this part of Japan and not that part of Korea yet? No one knows the answer to that. I do not see the Bible saying that God is sitting up there plotting out where the suffering is going to happen. In general, in the Bible, when people pose the why questions, e even God avoids them. Job had as much right to ask those questions as anyone who's ever lived. Here's this righteous person who's suffering terribly, and he asked God those why questions that God never answered. Instead, what I see God telling us is that you couldn't possibly understand. Your responsibility is not to try to figure out why. It's to try to figure out, okay, now that this bad thing has happened, how do I respond? Now what? And when I look at how Jesus handled people who were going through pain, that's where I see grace and response to suffering coming in together. Because God, there's one answer I do, one question I do know the answer to. And that is, how does God feel about those who are suffering? We know the answer because God gave us a face. We believe that Jesus came to show us what God is like. And you never see Jesus going around giving lectures about this is why that happened. Instead, you see Jesus with a widow who lost her only son or even a Roman soldier whose servant was ill, responding with mercy and compassion and healing. So through Jesus, we know how God feels about those who are suffering.